This quick start video shows you how to build sound banks in WISE. Sound banks contain the final audio content that becomes part of your game. These banks are loaded into a game's platform memory at a particular point in the game so that the audio is available for playback whenever required. Let's take a look at how sound banks are created and populated in WISE. First off, let's switch to the sound bank layout. Currently, we don't have any sound banks in our project, so let's create one now. To do so, simply click the New button in the Sound Bank Manager. Specify a location and a name for the new sound bank and then click OK. The new sound bank is added to the Sound Bank Manager. Now that we have created a sound bank, we can start populating it. You can populate sound banks by dragging either Object Hierarchies or events. Both methods will give you the same results. Now let's switch to the Edit tab. This tab gives you a snapshot of the entire contents of your bank, including all events, sound hierarchies, and media files. So now that our bank is populated, we are ready to generate it. Before generating, we need to select the bank that we want to generate. We also have to select which platforms and languages we want to generate. For this example, we will select Windows and English. To generate the bank, we simply need to click the Generate button. The sound bank will be generated and saved in the Generated Sound Banks folder in your project directory. Now that the bank is generated, it is ready to be used by your game. This concludes our quick start video on building sound banks. The next tutorial will give you an overview of the resources available for LearningWise.